Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to generate basic design strips for an elevated slab and ramp concept. In this video, we will provide you with a brief introduction to design strips and the terminology we will be using throughout this workflow. Now, before we begin modeling design strips in RAM concept, let's first discuss a few key features of design strips. To do that, I have opened a model of a simple two-way concrete slab in RAM concept. This model already contains design strips. The first thing we will need to know is where the design strips are located. In RAM concept, different types of objects are created on different layers within the program. The design strips can be found on the latitude and longitude design spans plan. Now that we have our design strip layers open, let's discuss what design strips are and what is their purpose. A finite element analysis often produces high peak moments and stress concentrations, which are inappropriate for calculation of reinforcement and evaluating performance. Code rules are generally intended for strip methods that assume an averaging or smearing of moment and shear across a designated width, such as a column strip. RAM concept uses design strips and design sections to link finite element analysis with concrete code rules and concrete design. So a design strip is an object that contains a series of cross sections at specific locations. A design strip is an object that integrates the resultants for all load combinations along each cross section. It will then apply the appropriate code rules to the resultants. Now within the design strip layer, we will see several different types of objects. The first type of object we will discuss is a span segment. A span segment is a line entity that is intended to indicate a portion of a structural plan or a whole structural plan. The at support properties of the span segment indicates where the span starts and stops. In addition to that, we will also occasionally use the term frame. A frame is one or more spans that are connected together to form a continuous line of spans. Next, let's discuss the span segment strips. Span segment strips are a set of cross sections associated with a span segment. The span segment can have up to three span segment strips, the left, the right, and the center. These are known as the design strips. The center design strip is the column strip, and the left and right strips represent the middle strips. Once you are on your design strip plans, you will notice that there are several layer-specific tools available in the layer-specific toolbar. You can use these tools to model the design strips, to control the design strip properties, and to define their boundaries. Now that we've discussed the terminology that we will be using to generate our basic design strips, let's also discuss the design strip process. The first step in creating your design strips would be to create your span segments. We have some tools available for you to either generate the span segments or draw them manually. The next step in your workflow would be to create the span segment strips using the span segments that you created. This will be done through an automatic process. Finally, after you create your span segment strips, you will review and modify the span segment strips as needed. This can include examining the strip information, editing the properties, editing the span segments manually, and entering some cross-sectional trimming. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.